Yo, we have a book in sight today and if all goes well, this will be the best video that I make. And this is all in one take, so there is a lot of pressure on me to, to get it right the first time. The book insight will be on The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Mercy. Now, in the last video, I mistakenly said John. I didn't mean to say John. I, I, I forgot his name, so that's an error on my fault. But we will be going over his book and a lot of... This is just a pre preamp, you know, before the actual book insight, so... If you want to skip it you can basically the past almost two years of my life i've implemented a lot of these teachings into my life of the awareness of your subconscious mind making sure that you keep things positive and you focus on building a subconscious mind that benefits you and allows you to do great things and a lot of things that i've given advice on has been based on the works from dr joseph mercy but jo dr joseph mercy murphy but i've worded it in my own way i've taken it and applied it to my own lifestyle and how i've grown up and the things i've learned put it in my own packaged it in my own way but i there's a lot of credit to dr joseph because he's shown me a side of things that i wouldn't have known before if i if i didn't have read his book now before i i know i said i was going to do the introduction and then just get right into it but there is an update here. Um, let me just turn off this camera. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, look. Basically, these are all the books that I plan on doing insights on. You know, start to to finish, and I finished it finally. I've I've gone to completion with it. Thank God. You know, it took me a long time. It took me. Since this, I started in November, I'm pretty sure. So it's taken me almost six months to to get to this point where I finished the writing side of things. Now all that's left is really for me to record these videos and go through it and do my extra research to make sure the videos as best as I can possibly make it. Again, I'll try to break things down, etc. I think I'm talking too much now. Two minutes in, let's get into this book inside now. Before I get into what I writ for this video, let's get into something I writ a few years ago. This was something I writ. Let me see if I can full screen this. Oh. Let me see. All right, I got it. I got it full screen. Sorry, I just, I'm, I'm delaying stuff a lot already. The video is just being so delayed. All right, this is something I writ. If you can see in the, in the bottom right, right there, it says the 4th of June 2022 and that's not a fake date that's like that's a real date and the proof is is here it's from an actual journal I had back then now I'm gonna just go over this first because I feel like there is a lot of value that I written in this in this brief idea board that I did just based on what I I just wanted to take notes on the book after like a month of reading it and there's a lot of value that before we actually get into our risk specifically for this video, let's just go over this quickly. Cool. So the first point is that I mentioned the book and who's the author, Dr. Joseph Mur Murphy. And what is he a doctor in exactly? Well, he's, he, as I read here, he has a PhD in psychology in the 1950s. Dang! 1950s. That was a long, long, long time ago. But it adds more credibility to what he's saying because, you know, if someone has a degree, clearly they have went through the the means to get that education. And, you know, it, it adds more credibility to what they're saying. Next thing is the key one. I, I don't want to spend too long on because I, I, could, I could really make this a, a long, long video if I do. The three tools to use to, posit, to promote positive thoughts and beliefs. And these three tools are what I've rec recommended all of the time. First one is repetition. Second is suggestion slash auto suggestion. Third is visualization. These three tools you can use in your daily life to promote more positive thoughts and beliefs about yourself. And I think I, I might have to go more in depth in another video, but briefly repetition means really affirmations, making sure to 
keep repeating positive affirmations to yourself so that you start to believe that you're good at these at what you're doing and you're a good person and you have great traits and you can do great things and be a great person that that sort of affirmation style of, of repetition will really ingrain that into your subconscious and make you believe what you're saying about yourself the the second one is all suggestion it's really about understanding that if you start to shape your words meticulously to lean towards something more positive your subconscious will start to pick up on that and really start to promote more thoughts in that same that same atmosphere of positivity so being aware of that side that if you should suggest some positive thoughts to yourself say it aloud think about it it will it will definitely benefit you long term with positive thinking third one is visualization have you ever and answer this in the comments down below have you ever envisioned a future for yourself five years down the line ten years down the line something that's a good future for yourself if you have put it down below what what is it exactly what do you remember from those visions now the idea of this one is to kind of make it a more of a, a consistent practice of yourself to envision a good future for yourself whether it's six months three months, 10 months, five years, 10 years, you know, you can really scale it up, but start off in the short range so you can really start to envision your future, envision something positive for yourself so that you can add on to that affirmations and suggestion that you can be someone who is positive, someone who is a great achiever and you can do great things. And the visualization is, is an, it's his own thing, but it's an extra touch to the realism that you can manifest these good thoughts and and be a good person that is that out of the way i think there's there's so much to cover on that one on those on that one thing the three tools and it's just so much so much to unpack with just those those few words there now i have it written here already so let's see the key thing about the subconscious mind which which is what dr murphy gets into is that 95 percent of your life 95% of your brain activity is subconscious slash unconscious, which is what? You know, the behaviors, decisions, actions, and emotions. 95%. Now, we don't know how much of that is true, but take it with a grain of salt. However, 95% is quite a lot. Now, he says that the subconscious can bring you success. And he kind of defines the difference between the subconscious and the conscious in the top right here it says irrational the irrational side of your brain is the subconscious side and is creative and home to emotions the rational side is your conscious mind you know the thinking and the logical side of things and there's quite a lot of great books about you know i think thinking fast and, and slow is is by daniel is quite a good one for that for that side of the differences between the conscious and the subconscious mind it really, really, it gives, it gets you more aware on what the subconscious mind is. You hear, you hear the word thrown around a lot, but you're like, "What is this?" This is opens your, your brain a little bit into what it's about. He also gets into a little bit about your job. So if you work a job like me, or if you go to school, you can let me know if you relate to this. If you hate what you do, the world, the, <clears throat> if you hate what you do, you will never obtain success because you will lack the necessary drive and your thoughts towards your work will become negative and so shall your results. So basically saying, similar to how in in the book I done, my second book insight, As a Man Thinketh, basically good thoughts produce good actions, bad thoughts produce bad actions because you know the, your actions follow your thoughts really. If you start to think negative about your job or your work or your school all of the time, tend it will tend to follow that you do bad things, <laughs> and you and you won't do as great as you should. And I should follow this advice. I fall short all of the time. I just I just hope to pick myself up when I need to. Now the next one is what you write on the inside, you will experience on the outside. So basically, same thing. Good thoughts produce good actions bad thoughts produce bad actions 
Next point is you have two sides to your life, the objective and subjective, the visible and invisible thoughts and its manifestation. Basically, the conscious and the subconscious mind, the two, those two sides. Last bit, last bit on this is he, he mentions, Dr. Murphy mentions that you are always building mental models. You always have a framework in your mind that you're building constantly. He breaks down three steps to build a positive mental model that can, you know, be beneficial to you and others. The first step is to discover what you love doing and do it passionately. So find something that you feel is in line with your passions and your desires and follow suit and make sure you give your 100% effort on it. Second thing is to specialize on that on that passion. Make sure you're putting in a lot of work into learning skills and educating yourself on your on your interests. Third is beneficial to humanity. How can what you do benefit others positively? Have you ever asked yourself that question? If so, put it down below. What what do you think what you're doing now is benefiting and how is it benefiting to others? It'll be interesting to see what you guys have to say about that. And that is that on that one. Now we can get into what I wrote for this specific book insight. Now, I think, I don't know, I think, should I go full? I think, all right, I'll, I'll go full for like this. It's crazy I was talking this out during a video, but look. So book 17 of these book insights, written on the 31st of December, right before the New Year's, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Now, I briefly describe what the book is about. This is a self-help book. This is a self-help book that explores the potential and influence the subconscious mind can have over our lives. It, it offers techniques to harness the power of your subconscious mind for personal growth and success. This book teaches you how to visualize how this this book teaches you how to use visualization and other suggestions to other suggestion techniques to adapt your unconscious behavior in positive ways. Now there's a quotation here. Keep your subconscious mind busy with expectation, with expectation of the best. So constantly feed yourself great thoughts and thoughts that will put you in a good light because your subconscious mind will, your subconscious mind will start to eat on that and start to reflect that in your life. Now, next, next point is use visualization because it means to use the placebo effect to your advantage. The central point of this book is that you can use your imagination to suggest ideas to your subconscious mind to get what you want. If you if repeated enough, your mind will steer, or your mind will then steer your behavior more towards making these uh, making those ideas a reality, un unbeknownst to you. All right. Now listen, I'm sorry about <laughs> my reading right now. I'm, I'm currently fasting, so I'm really trying my best trying my best to keep my composure and <laughs> not get hungry so last bit is if repeated enough your mind will then steer your behavior more towards making those ideas a reality unbeknownst to you so even though when you do it for the first time and the tenth time and the hundredth time you don't feel that much of a of a difference by the time you hit your five hundredth a thousandth ten thousandth time you will feel some sort of boost in your belief in what you're saying and your actions that follow through and it's, it's just a constant repetition to yourself if you constantly tell yourself you are great you are smart you will do great things you have positive ambitions you can you can fulfill your requirements you can fulfill the requirements of others etc those kind of things it will be beneficial to you you will start to believe those things and that's the end goal of this visualization picturing yourself achieving a certain goal or outcome so literally envisioning it if you close your eyes and picture something of yourself doing a great thing that's visualization when in doubt sleep on it often you can make confident decisions after a good night's rest definitely wish well for others for envy will only prevent you from getting what you want please don't be envious don't be jealous don't consume yourself with these negative thoughts because they will just lead you to more sadness and more anger and frustration it's just a pool of 
negativity that only gets deeper. There's, it can never the the depth of that negativity pool never ends. So go to the positivity pool. That never ends either. But it's really for you to decide what kind of person you want to be. Don't fall into a victim mindset. A key one here. Don't blame others. Are you? And this is speaking to me a little bit too. But don't find an excuse to not blame yourself and find many reasons and justifications to blame everyone else because that puts you in a position where you allow yourself to make that same mistake again and if you catch yourself in that loop you'll do it 10 to 20 times before you realize you're in the wrong but if you understand this beforehand you can get it right the first time get it meaning after you make that mistake that first time you can get it right again you can get it right after it so don't play the victim the pie isn't limited. There's enough to go around for everyone. Stay positive and root for others. Yeah, definitely. Take accountability and responsibility. Be positive. The subconscious mind is prone to suggestion, which you can use to your advantage. You can use the power of positive thinking and visualization to realize your dreams. Exactly, and, and that's why I, I love this idea of the book about how positive thinking is something that should be your primary mode and you should make it your primary mode by using those three tools and there's so much to consider and there's so much input to give in so leave your input down below i'll be very interested to see because i love this book and if i find that the community that i build is talking about this book i'm going to be very interested to see what kind of ideas you guys come up with Visualization and passion can help you achieve tremendous results. You can choose to be happy and lose the negative thoughts that stand in your way. In order to be happy, you need to choose happiness. Yeah, so what if I was to give you an example and just tell you, look, you, yes, you, you can choose to be happy. It is your choice. It's not the choice of others. It's your choice. It's if you decide not to be happy, that's your fault. Now, what if I was to say something like that? I think that might be too too direct. It may be too obnoxious, not considering your circumstances. But the point to drag out of this is that you are in control of your emotions. And as long as you build that mental model in a positive manner, you will end up seeing results. And that is almost a promise as long as you are consistent with it like uh, I'll, how about this i'll give you a promise on my behalf i think if you stay consistent with this positive mental model work that you're trying to build this positive mental model you will see results whether it's three months six months 12 months two, ten, 10 years you will see results replace fears with positive thoughts to overcome obstacles and stay young. The truth is, all fears are built upon false thoughts and terror that can be eased by countering them. So if you find your own countermeasures to negativity and fear and resistance, you will see positive outcomes. Just continue the fight. Don't, don't give up. If it's not you, someone else will fight. But realize that if you continue to fight against these resistances, negative thoughts, fear, know that in this community here, <laughs> there's a bunch of people fighting too. I'm fighting too. I'm head on with the battle. I'm really fighting. So you're not alone with this, with this fight to be a positive person, to lead a positive life and to benefit others. I'm here too.